What's up, guys? We're getting ready to uh, start the college football playoff semifinal against Kansas State. So I am excited. The home of the Cotton Bowl in modern times has become AT&T Stadium, a massive yet somehow intimate setting. Kirk, this, of course, is where the first championship game of the playoff era was played. Well, who could forget that? When Ohio State took care of Oregon to win the national championship for Urban Meyer. And this game, like you said, I think it just seems to get bigger and bigger in this setting. The pressure these players feel. Let's see who can handle that the best today. Ooh, that was pretty. The receiver broke down his defender on that curve. It's man-to-man -man coverage. That's how you win one-on-one. -on -one. And now the handoff. Solid run. Tackled with the 45-yard line. Great job on the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think they're going to run, maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. The Cades line up on first and ten. Good, tough running here by this Miami Hurricane running back. A nice job up front to be able to pave the way to be able to come up with a Canes. And the pass caught inside the 15. Out of bounds, but not before a huge game. Offense gets a fresh set of downs. The Hurricanes are going to take advantage of this red zone trip. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. On the run, it's Martinez. They stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. Chris, this has been a fun opening drive to watch by this offense coordinator, blending everything, mixing in run with pass. Not a face is way into the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. Kirk, you look for a watch. Do you get jitters in the opening drive? Not any sign of it for that offense. You know, the offensive coordinator, when we talked with him this week, he had a feeling that this offense was going to be able to start fast. And I don't even know if he thought they would look this good this early. Point after, up and good. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. So Kansas State's offense out there for their first possession. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players who just guys here, but what do you expect from them today? Well, we got guys that can make plays as well as anybody in the country on both sides of the ball. That's why I think this matchup is so exciting. Two good teams with great individual players. Back to throw. It's Johnson. Quick throw complete to the tight end. A big hit by the linebacker able to knock him down. That completion makes it second in medium. Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. That run sets up a critical third down play. 
the defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. The tackle made, but the sophomore quarterback showing us the arm strength. Good job here by this offense coming up with his first down on that third down play. They knew they're going to have to deal with a lot of pressure. Did their job, gave the quarterback time. They convert, and listen, you're down early in this game. Every Damn possession it. matters. You need... Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a uh, uh, not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Wildcats. I think it's his standing execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. So it'll be a touchback. Ball spotted at the 25. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. Damn it, what the fuck was I thinking? No, it's what the fuck? Across his body and paid the price. It's a short return. Not what I want. Why the hell is it going to be? I meant to throw it to... Fresh set it down to the offense, first down. I meant to throw it to... to X. Shit. They'll try the right here. And they'll try the right inside, but nowhere to go. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Here's the handoff. So back to that play. He's nowhere to run. This defense all over the running back so far. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and the run fits on that play. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Missed his receiver. It's incomplete. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't yeah, turn the football out over, there. and he didn't That's take a sack. It'll, It'll give your kicker a chance him. to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. I think he's up and no if I can win this game. Here in the first quarter, it remains a tie ball game. And here comes the Miami offense back out on the field. Damn, it's screw this up. I don't know what happened. happened. I think we an interception on the very first play of the last possession. Come on, it's incomplete. Come on, it is a good pass rush right there on one. first down. And you got to get this your defense get to, uh, It's all about affecting the quarterback and getting pressure on him. This time they got to him and forced that incompletion. Fires it to the wideout. And he's got it. Big game, moves the ball across midfield to the 45. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Nice throw and a great catch here by this Miami Hurricane wide receiver. For our younger audience out there who might be... Oh, and he's got it inside the 15. Tackle made after a big game. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. Well, hand it off. Runner finally brought down, but at the five yard line, defense getting pushed back here. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. It was a good back. I'd love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line Back's got it again. He'll be brought down. Jones just going to catch the short of that first down. Run. Offense facing a third down now. They can still get a first down without scoring. Running play called on third and short. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Keynes. This defense is getting manhandled at the line of scrimmage. They just load it up in that goal line formation and push their way into the end zone. The BAT is good. They go up a touchdown, 14-7. The kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He's going to try for a return from a couple of yards deep in the end zone. And he stopped with the 18. Returner tried to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. And the Wildcats offense back out on the field. No doubt the last drive was deflating. He had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. He'll hand it off. Great cut there. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. The game makes it second and medium. 
Play action fake, looking to throw. Couldn't find anybody open, and just has to throw it away. After the incompletion, they'll line up now for a third and five. Dropping back, it's Johnson. Intercepted, picked off by the defense. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Wow, what a play. Defensive score. And the interception taken to the house. A big six potential game-changing play there. And nothing gets a defense, and especially a defensive coordinator, more fired up than a pick six. Let's not forget, give credit to some of those other defenders for making some key blocks to spring that touchdown loose. PNC is good. They're pulling ahead now, 21-7. The kickoff team on the field now is a to send this one away. I'd probably have be shutting them out right now if I hadn't had that stupid. You thought about returning it, but instead, the loot takes in the section and be a touchback at the start of the 25. The, wrong button. And the Kansas State offense is back out on the field. They have got to bounce back on this possession after throwing a pick six last time out here. First down here for this offense. Looking for some space. It's Giddens. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Damn, this defense continues to just be physical. It's a line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground. And by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back this road, they become a one-dimensional offense. Talking about quickness, that play is absolutely blown up in no time. Chris, I don't know if that's a misassignment by the offensive lineman or just really good instincts there by the defense. And it's intercepted. Beautiful timing there. Follows the pick with a nice return before finally being brought down. He didn't really seem to feel like he had anybody open. He just puts it up in the air, and the defense says, thank you, we'll take it. And the Miami offense is back on the field. Passing game was so effective in the last position. Right down for a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can make adjustments. Catch made quickly, but a solid gain. Moves the ball to the 25. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. And they finally stop him, but a decent gain that time. Kirk, as we take a break for the quarter here, it's Miami in front. We reach the end of one in this quest to move one. Offense getting set for a second down here to begin the quarter. The shotgun handoff here. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. Chris, I just love to see this offensive line in this running game able to establish themselves. This back is already over 50 yards. We're in the first half, so really good job of establishing the run game. Opens up the play action. Opens up one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Just keep winning the battle up front. The Canes pick up the number for a first down here. Handoff from the shotgun. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, uh, not only is he having a great happen. day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. Here we go, third down, close to the goal line. They can still get a first down without scoring. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown for the U. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. And he knocks the PAT right down the middle. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. He's going to bring this out a few yards deep in the end zone. And he's brought down at the 12. That's poor field position to start the drive. Okay, the K-State offense is back out on the field now. The last possession ended in an interception. Let's see if they continue to trust this quarterback in the passing game. One man at the backfield, and he'll get the football. 
Well, another short game for this offense on the ground, and you got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They have really negated that aspect of this offense the entire first half and really making them one-dimensional. And if that doesn't change, I don't know how they get back into this game. He'll hand it off. They'll bring him down just short of the 20. The Wildcats will hustle to the line here for the hurry up. Short to hand the ball off. Nowhere to run. No corralling for no gain. I mean, Chris, you have to admire this offense. They continue to try to sprinkle in the run game, even though it's not been able to really get established. But they're not just becoming one-dimensional. you got to respect that, and hopefully at some point it'll pay off. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the Hurricanes offense retakes the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Hey okay, guys up front lined up. It's first down. An inside give now from the shotgun. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice solid game. Second down after that run on the previous play. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. And the Canes pick up enough yardage to keep this drive rolling. Well, this back is running very well today and living up to so many great backs that they've had over the years at Miami. Edgerin James and Frank Gore and Willis McGahee and Clinton Portis. All those guys won a lot of games and ran the ball well. Right now, they got loving what they're seeing from this back. The Hurricanes come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Well, that was close. Got just enough for the first down against that man-to-man -man coverage. Good awareness by... Can he reach the end zone? Uh, he will make it for the score. Forward. Touchdown, Miami. Game-breaking speed for the running back to reach the end zone. That is just priceless for an offense. Chris, that back was able to find that crease in the defense. Let's give credit to the big fellas up front for creating that crease. That will play a key role in that score. Cat decided to come in and watch me. Here comes the point after attempt. Stomp a mud hole in uh, Kansas State. The extra point is good. Now it's a four touchdown lead, 35 7. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the Wildcats offense back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time. Looking to put together a positive drive here. Oh, it's a reverse. Come on, guys. You got to get there. They'll tackle him right at the 31. And that should have been better than that. Right? It should have been a big loss. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. So we've reached the two-minute warning of this off. offense trying to get something going here and cut into this lead before halftime. Important second down play coming up. Looking downfield, it's Johnson. Looks to the left for a quick throw. Trying to go very deep there. Good effort. Now it's third down. Oh, my gosh, Chris. A missed opportunity to your best receiver with that speed. I'll tell you this. I'm shocked that he actually overthrew me. With anything, I'd expect him to underthrow a fleet flitter receiver like this, but he must have anticipated that his receiver could go get it. Just misses it. And that will pick up a first down. A spot at a 38. The Wildcats will hustle to the line to run the hurry-up offense. On first and 10, they'll look to throw it. It's caught downfield. And the game just good enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Looking to throw again. Caught on the outside. It's Cephas. And he'll run out of bounds after picking up a few yards on the play. 
key here to me is, is to receive the runs a precise route, and the timing is impeccable. Quarterback cannot hesitate, because if he does, it could be pick six going the other way. Caught near the sideline, it's Jackson. And he heads out of bounds with the backwards on that play. Didn't want to take the hit. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. He's picked up in the set tonight. Uh, he goes down, but snags the ball and gives this defense a takeaway. Well, it looks like somebody did a great job of preparing himself to get ready for this football game. It's his second interception in this game so far. Obviously reviewed the tape. He's locked in on his fundamentals. That's a big-time player making big-time plays. And here comes the Miami offense back out on the field. Using his legs, it's Martinez. Oh, that's no the blocking just gets in the way. Maybe this stop is an indicator of what's to come for this defense. The offense, frankly, has been able to enforce their will in the first half, but maybe things are starting to change. The game moves the ball to a 34. It's not a huge game here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Can he make it to the marker? The Kings pick up enough yardage for a first down. Look, I realize when any play call comes properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Um, I'm not trying to replace anything. The, the Hurricanes what begin a new series here, there, first and ten. And there's the handoff. Solid game moves the ball to 43. Looks like the final play of the half coming up. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks, Chris. These games, they never disappoint, regardless the score. And this one was filled with excitement and big plays throughout that first half. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. The Canes will kick it off to begin the second half. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the Kansas State offense is back out on the field. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Scanning the field, it's Johnson. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Chris, a really great job here with the quarterback and the receiver. This is all about timing. Quarterback gets back. No hitch in his delivery. Gets the ball out in front of the receiver where he can run away from the defender for a nice completion. Ah, dang, boys. Oh. They make the stop, oh, but a big game puts him in enemy territory. Ball spotted at the 48. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place, and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. And he's okay, intercepted that for the fourth time tonight. Not much on the return, but they can set up the offense at the 35. Well, this defense has been great the entire football game here. They knew they had a lot of pressure on them in the playoff. They stepped up and played well all game long, and now they get a critical interception here late in this game. And the Miami offense is back on the field. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. Damn it. This one you is gotta get better positioning. 
Well, the defense better be yeah. aggressive here themselves. Clearly, we're seeing an approach by this offense that they're going to attack downfield. Probably saw something in the first half that they could take advantage of. They come out early and try to hit it for a big one. They make the stop, but not before a solid gain that time. And I love the route here by the receiver. Really sold he's going vertical downfield. Ends up coming back to the football to pick up big yards. Hand off here from the shotgun. They bring him down, but the game moves the ball into enemy territory at the 43. Hey, whether it's been on the inside or bouncing things to the outside, this guy has shown you everything that he has to offer and a big part of the reason why they're enjoying this nice lead. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? From the shotgun, it's a handoff. They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. Well, much like what we saw in the first half, Chris, in this playoff game, no adjustments, go right back to giving his running back the football. He's had a monster day and continues to get positive yards. Quick pass, here comes a jet sweep. Has the first down and more. I wish he had done his job. Well, George and Helen first down down down. Down. To me, Chris, with this offense, it's almost an extension of their running game. Put the receiver out in motion. You flip the ball out to him, out to the outside. Let him do Shut what he does again. best, which is use his instincts. And he picks up a first down. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Tackle made after a nice oh, pickup oh, on the play. Oh, the injured. player was down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout where they that check him out. That was odd. What did he do? Broke his arm or something? That's not good. Oh, crap. That is not good at all. That is not good at all. And the Canes with first and ten here. Let's go. And here's the handoff. And they stop him at the four after an excellent run. But another nice game by this back. He has had a beautiful day today, running the football, just kind of in that Wait, zone. What now? And a big reason why they have a nice. He's got an there. elbow sprain, but he'll return soon. What the heck? That's odd. But yet it said it was a severe, severe risk of uh, re-injury or whatever. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna risk that because that would be stupid. Because I'm blowing him out and I don't need him for the rest the of the game. Hurricanes come so. to the line with first and goal. First and goal. They'll try to run it in. Touchdown, Kings. And this one is getting ugly. It's another touchdown for this running back. They can't stop him. Dream performance in this playoff game. Yeah, this is going to be a performance we're going to be talking about for a long time. I just love watching because he's doing it in so many different ways. We've seen speed. We've seen his physicality. He's breaking tackles. Boy, just an absolute dream scenario, as you said. The Army beat Texas 26-3 so in the, the 1990 that was a 40 I mean, is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Pickoff teams on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. I feel like this game would be a shutout if I hadn't. If and I hadn't to gotten right intercepted. To start with the 25. In the first quarter. And okay, the K-State offense is back out on the field now. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. 
And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground. And it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. And the freshman brings him down quickly. Boy, I thought he might shake free there. He's able to break one tackle, but give credit to the secondary. Good job of coming up and run support. Offense facing a third and long from the 25. What's the call going to be? Drop him back. They're going to throw for the first down. And that's interception number five. Wow, no, this is kind of unfair at this point. He's wrapped up after a solid return. I didn't lower the difficulty, by the way. I'm playing on varsity still. He's himself back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. This is more my speed. Just absolutely kicking tail. I love this. And the Hurricanes offense who takes the field. They really had the defense off balance in the last possession, mixing the run and pass extremely well. And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. Less than a yard to go as they cover the line on second down. Sticking with the running game. The Caves look to keep this drive moving. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I want to protect Martinez, so I'm going to... I'm gonna sub in. I'm gonna sub in one of my backups, one of my backup running backs. Does that carry their feet to the open? Making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. Fresh set of downs for the Wait, offense, is, first down. Why is Martinez? So Takes the handoff. It's Martinez. Him out. What the heck? And he's brought down after a short game. Does not make the first down yardage. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field yeah, around, try to create space, try to, try to create one-on-one -on -one oh, matchups. And the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example. The defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. <laughs> More than double anybody else. The Hurricanes pick up enough yardage to move the sticks. All right, I'm gonna. My version of a mercy rule is I'm gonna bleed the clock a little bit. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be a dick and keep going. Essentially, no huddle. Like I'm not gonna do that. Ball handed off. And he's brought down, but there Man, is a penalty cool. marker out there. Let's check out this call. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. No, oh, they just gifted me. That's an easy call for the officials. Cannot grab the face mask like that. The Kings will line up here on first down and goal. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. Going to test the middle there, but get nothing. Kirk, as we take a break for the quarter here, it's Miami in front. These playoff games will certainly hope for a much more competitive battle with the shot at the national championship on the line. It has not been the case here so far. So, one quarter away from wrapping up an impressive CFP victory. Let's get back to the final period. All right, We've had the break to talk about it. Now we begin the quarter with the offense set up second and goal. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. Couldn't quite get in, but they're knocking on the door at the one. Well, they came very close to punching that one in, and now third down and goal. And if I'm the OC, I challenge my offensive line in that back. I just slam it right back into that A-gap ah, and on, try guys. to overpower that defensive front. 
he will be stuffed for no game. Well, Chris, they come up short in the goal line here, but they've got to still consider going for it. You could try to punch it in from the two, or I'm sure they've got a couple good handful of two-point conversion plays that they could use for this kind of situation. Let's see what they can dial up. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. Oh, Touchdown, Hurricanes. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. This is just complete domination in every phase. Offense, defense, special teams. Fun to see for this team. Unfortunate on the other side. They'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT is good as they continue to pull away yeah. even more. Personal foul. Personal foul. Nothing, Nothing to kick. Defense. 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 Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. It's a deep kickoff, hammered out the back of the end zone for a touchback. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Pre-snap motion from the offense. On first and ten, looking to throw. Ram behind the line. It's Johnson. And it's out of bounds after a decent game. This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense yeah. gives him. I'm at 40. Play, I'm at 42. Positive yards. My guys defense wants to give that throw to you. Take that's, it. Get the ball to your receiver. Idea. Stay ahead of the sticks. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. And nobody open. Well, these guys just continue to struggle throwing the football. You know, whether it's been running the wrong route, the quarterback not being accurate, the offensive line not doing their job. It's been a collective effort, and it's a big reason why they're trailing now in this game. The pass is off target. He got hit as he threw as the third down pressure works. The Wildcats will have to punt this one away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. With the return, it's Restrepo. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. And here comes the Miami offense back out onto the field. They've really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. And the defense makes some adjustments. Come up with a stop here. Hey, listen, you don't always have to have big plays to be successful. It's a nice, solid game here. Keeps you on schedule. You get ready for that next play. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Clock here with the running game. Tackle, but first down. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. Tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when a person that's carrying the ball can break off some big time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder, knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. shotgun he hands it off he's taken down but that's a nice game they'll spot the ball now at the 35 and the cage getting set on first and ten you know i'd say this run is pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long no matter what they've done on offense the guys up front have controlled the line of scrimmage they've given a the quarterback time to throw they've been able to run really whatever they've wanted to that's why the points are going up on the board. Right now, the psyche of this offense is we're in control, and we can do whatever we want whenever we feel like doing it. Here we go. 
How aggressive will they be on this first down play? And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Finding enough space for a solid game before they stop it. Just another example of this offense. Chris doing pretty much whatever they want to do. They've been able to run the football. Offensive lines held their own in pass protection. Quarterbacks had an outstanding day. Get all that up. It's a big reason why they're up by such a wide margin. I really hoped I could win this game and not, you know, lose to an inferior team. But I wasn't expecting to beat him this bad. Because I got some turnovers that I really didn't get in the other previous couple games. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Got space. Looking to score. Touchdown for the U. To stretch the lead. The route goes on. Boy, they just continue to do everything right. This offense has looked outstanding from the opening series all the way up to this point. Doing everything that's asked of them. Great execution. And put another touchdown up on the board. I think this might go down as the new biggest blowout in Cotton Bowl history. Now the all-important extra point. PAT is good as no they build it on this big they lead. my kicker again? That's <laughs> <here. laughs> Wow. Like, what are y'all doing? The game's over. The head coach over, will decide to accept the penalty kicker. and take the yardage. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner opportunity to bring this back. Nope. This one is not returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone. First down here for this offense. Receiver in motion now. First down, looking to throw the ball. Looking for his big tight end. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. One play moves the ball to the 45. It'll be first down. Here's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Makes a quick grab. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Hey, there's the execution. It's been lacking most of this game, but they'll take it. You know, you try to do everything that you can to learn and try to build from the future. And at this point in the game, it's obviously over, but you love to see the offense coordinator still giving this quarterback opportunities. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. It's an out route. The catch made. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Pass complete. It's second down now. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun looking for a receiver. Gets the ball up as he's hit, but it's incomplete. But this offense has really struggled today, Chris, when it comes to throwing the football. They have dug themselves in huge hole. They're not going to have all any chances coming back. Yeah, and I think way. one thing about this is you wonder where you go from here. You're hoping to make a play or two to give yourself a belief that things can get better, but it's just been a disastrous day for the offense. And you head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. Kansas State now operating in the red zone. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Well, if you're not careful as a quarterback, this is the kind of route that defensive back wants to jump and get in front of for an interception and maybe a touchdown going the other way. But this time, the receiver runs it well, brings it in, and then gets out of bounds. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. This is crucial. Defense needing a stop on third down, trying to force a field goal. In the third and short, they'll try to throw for it. And he will score! Touchdown, Kansas State! Love this never say die attitude from this quarterback. He's still slinging it out there. This game's out of reach, but That's this guy's still putting the ball in the air. He's got a touchdown. He's going to get set now to try the PAT. He wanted to hold him to the one touchdown. And the PAT is good. Now they get set to kick it away. And he'll bring it out 
from inside the town. The cover team brings him down at the 26. So the job is simple here. Just take a knee, run out the clock, and begin the celebration. That's a great performance in a pressure moment, but now the job gets even more exciting, even bigger as they go on to the national championship game and play for that trophy. And this is a new era. I mean, think about the weeks, the amount of games that these guys have been able to play and, and be able to accomplish this to get to the national championship. That says everything about the endurance of this football team, both mentally and physically. And they get one more hurdle to see if they can become the national champs. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. I just absolutely destroyed him. Absolutely destroyed him. Held him two yards per rush, 18 yards on 12 carries. Wow. Just absolutely destroyed them. game where I beat him so bad I kind of felt bad for him and I guess my defense did too because they gave him that last they gave him a touchdown in the fourth so I guess the, the computer the computer that was controlling my defense felt bad for them too because like all right fine we'll gift you a touchdown good lord I should have just destroyed that Langston got Defensive Player of the National National and ACC Player of the Week. Nice. Martinez got National and ACC Offensive Player of the Week. I'm nervous about this one, guys. <laughs> I am nervous. Yeah, we're gonna just play it at my stadium, too. Yeah, we will save that one for next episode, guys. Final episode of uh, year one of my dynasty, so I will see you. Well, I'm gonna do a transfer portal episode after transfer portal slash off season recruiting episode uh, after the national championship. So I will see you guys in the next one. So make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.